Evening all, welcome back to Destiny. So what I'm doing here is I've just sped this up so you can see what we're doing. We're actually, um, well this is in orbit and we've just finished our mission so we're loading and, and messing about with our loot. You can see we've got that sniper rifle or whatever it was we picked up, the Psy rifle. Um, it's basically a, a plasma rifle. It's not very good. You'll see it. it's not very good. Um, and then you have this, look at the map, Look at isn't this beautiful? So I just thought I'd show you this because I've not actually shown it. You have obviously all the different uh, area so at the moment we're fighting on the tower which is kind of on earth I think but um, you'll see so what we did then is we're just gonna head back to the tower and I'm gonna show you the um, the tower is kind of the I guess the base for everyone so this is where the shops are this is where the shipwright is it's where your leaders are and it's where the the um, the voice of the traveler is now we haven't spoke too much about the law so um, let's talk about certainly what we know so far so long story short TLDR is that a traveler in the shape of a great big ball yep I don't know either um, has apparently come to earth and or well, Mars it was found on Mars and therefore it, it, it ushered in a kind of period of advanced uh, human um, I guess technology etc so it basically then put human into the to the, the the solar system we launched and we made you know Mercury a garden and Venus a, probably a, a really nice place and whatever um, but then, unfortunately, following the Traveller, because there was some war, was this, this enemy called the Darkness, who then, it's like the Flood, effectively, who followed him and then basically beat humanity back to one single um, little uh, base, which is the, this, this last bastion here. Um, and therefore, that's the story. So we'll, we'll uncover it as we go, but I just, we'll probably do a few lore videos as well, because it is actually quite good lore. Um, but I just wanted to show you the shops as well, because there is quite a lot of kind of, of, of setting up, if that's the right word. And as you can see there, what I did there was set up. I set up my character with better armor. I've got a better gun. I've got a, you know, just all the things that can generally we need. So here we go. We're now back on to mission four. So um, as you can see, Judge and Dell decided to jump into the river to see what happened. They died. <laughs> I'm not sure what they expected, but there we go. You got to try these things. I mean, yeah, this isn't this is the point of a beta. You got to give everything a bit of a blast. Um, just on that, I mean, there is some pretty good squad mechanics. The revive mechanic is excellent. I think the fact that you can actually revive teammates, you can play in a much more tactical way, is lovely. I do really, really like that. Um, and I think just generally, you know, I'm quite impressed with um, with the way that the game is kind of running from a gang point of view. Look at that, I've unlocked double jumps. You see now we've got a double jump. Um, for those of you who play Terraria, yeah, that's really good in it. <laughs> um, and we're using something called the plasma rifle now. So you see this is like a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three kind of, you know, ba -ba 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 shot um, kind of gun. Um, it's a load of bollocks. Not my cup of tea. I, I'm not great with a controller yet still, and I'm probably never going to be, but I think um, it takes time to do these things. So I think what I'll generally have to do is just get used to it. But there we go, look at that, double jump. That's pretty awesome. Um, we were testing, we were just kind of trying to make, see if racial bonuses may be coming here. So can Dell jump higher because he's a robot and that kind of thing? He seems to, because he kind of like has a, a, a jet pack or something. So we kind of say, right, who jumps higher? Three, two, one, jump. And there we go. And apparently, we jumped about the same height. So I don't know, maybe not, but it looks like, yeah, I don't know, I know. So this is just, and again, think of the tactical ramifications of that little tactic right there. That's really nice. And there's loads more, like eventually I unlock a throwing knife, which you think were a throwing knife in the modern age of technology. That's a load of old bilge, isn't it? No, actually it's really good because you throw a knife so hard it sticks in people's foreheads and it's just funny as balls. Um, so definitely, definitely going to, I think you're going to be locked into this game for quite a while, upgrading, unlocking everything. And the fact is you'll do all three classes as well. So you'll do the Titan, the, 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 the wizard, and then whatever this dude is, the rogue or the scout, whatever it is, um, which is good. Now judge found something interesting here in every single area. There is also secrets to find that progresses your grimoire. Now, if you don't know what a grimoire is, it's actually a, a story, a book, a, com a compendium of the stories of what's going on. Um, and just to be clear, keep keep your eye out for the channel's um, next video to do with Destiny. It won't actually be part of this series. It's because there is a companion app on iOS and Android now that actually has a huge amount. So we'll do a review of that and I'll show you it because I spent about half an hour reading through all the Grimoire entries and the lore of it starts to come through. So if you haven't done it yet, download it. It's called just just search on Destiny Companion and look for the app from Bungie. Watch out for all the dodgy ones. It's Bungie Net or Bungie Limited or whatever. 
um, and you'll see that. Oh, look at that! So there we go. First guy with a jet bike there. So we're going to uh, we're going to go and say hello to that dude. <laughs> um, but this is really the unlocking. Look at that! The jet bike is so cool. Yeah, you're level eight, mate. I know, I know. Yeah, you're level eight. Isn't that brilliant? I love it. I love the jet bike. Um, and we're only a few minutes away from getting it, don't worry. Um, to be honest, I think there is a real kind of scale and scope discussion to be had with this game because um, once you eventually get to some of the larger maps um, that I'm hoping will be there, the, the ability to jet bike around is going to be really, really good fun. Plus, it brings a fascinating element to PvP, that ability to um, instantly summon a vehicle and then fly it and then use it. Now, I don't know what other vehicles are coming, but you can pretty much guarantee there will be tanks, you know, air vehicles, etc. eventually. But maybe not right now, but I would say eventually there's going to be. There's also the ability to collect things like this, so if you're familiar with Skyrim and that kind of thing, this is really where that comes in, the ability to cap uh, capture, the ability to collect uh, drops and loot and things like that. There is so much detail in this, like for example, you actually pick up loot from the enemies as well. It's rare, but you do do it, so all of a sudden you'll pick up like, oh, you just picked up a helmet or a pair of boots, a pair of Ugg boots or something like that, and that's, that's then something you can then sell or use or whatever, so and when I say sell, <clears throat> You don't sell anything, what you do is you just dismantle it for its glimmer count. Okay, so here we go. So this is basically where we get our, our wonderful, wonderful jet bikes. Um, and I'll let Dell do the honors. But effectively what we do here is this unlocks the ability to actually then use um, or, re or call in the jet bike whenever we want. So it's actually permanently available to us, which is pretty awesome. So there we go, Sparrow Training, there we go. So what we do is we activate Nav Mode, and then we do that. Now, apparently you can upgrade the Sparrow as well to have guns and have all of this. That's going to happen. I have always wanted a jet bike in a space game since I can remember I was a wee lad, because I want to fly the speeder bikes from Return of the Jedi. And look, in this game, I can! Woohoo! I <laughs> finally have got it. Look at this, isn't this amazing? So you've got a boost mode and you've got an air brake as well. This is, oh, I just I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, look at that, the whole gang can get them on, on them as well. I mean, it's just so good. I, I know I'm such a kid with this thing, but I really, really, really love this as an idea. I think this is such a good idea. Plus, it's an anti it's proper anti-gravity. So yes, you can still crash it, but you've got, you, know, you can also fly it quite well as well. And look at that, you immediately jump off it and then you're into combat. Brilliant. Brilliant, absolutely A1, brilliant, brilliant, fun stuff right there. I mean, Bungie, I love you, because that is exactly what I've wanted a game to do since Borderlands, since Dust, since, uh, you know, you name it, I've wanted this kind of ability to have a speeder bike like Return of the Jedi. And there you go, I've got it. <laughs> oh, so much fun. And to be honest, think of the gang mechanics. I mean, you are going to be speeding across the... The surface of a planet. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Flipped my poor little sparrow. Um, and you are going to be speeding across the, uh, the, the the surface of a planet with your gang and your, you know, in tow. And you're going to be running and, and doing... I mean, it's just so good, isn't it? It's so satisfying. I can't, I can't describe it. Um, and this is only one of the vehicles. There's going to be more. Um, and it's going to be pretty interesting how this all kind of fits together. And there we go. Almost crashed it again. But look at this, it's actually pretty durable as well. I mean, it does make a lot of sense. I'm, I'm loving it. Anyway, so enough fasting about. Let's go and do some jumps off people. <laughs> uh, right, so in terms of, I've completely forgotten what the mission was, but let's go and crack on with the mission. And to be honest, that's a really good kind of indicator of how kind of open and fun this game is. And again, look at the size of this map. It's pretty big. It's getting quite big now. Um, and just as I did this, we had a gang member say, look, we're, I'm under attack, come back and help me. So this is, this is great. This is reacting to spawns that are kind of, you know, NP, uh, uh, NPC kind of PvE driven. And it's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, I've got to admit, I'm quite impressed. Look at this, riding on top of the wing. And then out we go, bang, into battle. Love it. So good. It's just so good. I think it's going to make some really interesting kind of uh, montage videos. I think people are going to love the fact that you can kind of you know, zoom in instantly out of nowhere and then you know, jump off and start fighting with a shotgun. I mean, that is pretty impressive. I can't wait to see how that's used in PvP, for example. Oh, so there we go. I mean, again, we've not really done too much in this video, but hopefully you've seen, <laughs> hopefully you're seeing that we're actually progressing. The whole game and the experience, the, the NPE, the new player experience on this game is 
second to none. I have never seen a game so good. So you started with that tutorial, remember? And this was just you walking through the ru ruins in the story. You pick up a gun, you start to learn to fight the gun, you then pick up this, you get, you find a ship, you then find that, you then end up doing missions, and all of a sudden, you know, three missions in, we've now got a vehicle. I mean, it's, it's nice, isn't it? And even more content is being unlocked as we go. So it's not just, right, here's your tutorial, right, there you go, the whole game's open to you now, get on with it. It's actually, you know, it, it's, it's progressively walking you through it. And look at this, Judge and I, you know, screaming through a... Uh, the, the valley. I mean, this is impressive. This is bloody impressive, and I've got to admit, it's uh, it's very impressive indeed. Now, unfortunately, the game did actually crash here, <laughs> so there has to be a bit of a bit of a, a bit of a grey cloud, unfortunately. But the the game crashed because uh, we all got kicked from the fire team. So we'll stop there and join us next time because in the next one we do even more jet bikes, and the fighting's pretty crazy. So I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.